Hey y'all, welcome to Ballistics Gel Test Without the BS, and today we're going to be shooting Norma Bond Strike 180 grain 30 out 6 ammo. So before we shoot, let's take a look at the ammo itself real quick. So again, it's Norma Bond Strike. It's billed as a long range hunting cartridge. So Norma bills it as an all velocity bullet that will expand anywhere from zero well out to 500 meters and maintain weight. Let's take a quick look at the factory stated spec because we're going to see if that's true or not. Uh, muzzle velocity is supposed to be 2756 feet per second we're going to measure that and see how it does and here's one of the actual cartridges it has a blue plastic tip the brass looks absolutely beautiful i've never experienced anything but that with norma ammo it's usually really good looking stuff and it is billed as a bonded bullet so we should see some really good weight retention our test rifle today is this Tika T3X Superlight Stainless Chambered in 30-06, of course. It's got a 22.4-inch barrel, and I've got a Leopold VX3 scope on there. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. So let's go ahead and shoot some. All right, so we'll go ahead and take a look at this before I shoot the second and third shots. So this front block flipped completely over. It's supposed to be that way. We come on back to the second block and there she is captured right inside the second block. That looks awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and dig that out before I shoot the other two so I don't, you know, hit bullets on bullets and um, we'll go from there. And just before I shoot those next two shots, penetration on this first shot is right about 17 and, I don't know, 3 8 inches. All right, so I came back down to the blocks after the third shot. And of course, I got to come down after the second shot, too, to reset the blocks. But here is how they set after being hit by one of those 180 grain bond strikes out of a 30 shot six it, it it absolutely devastates them so let's go ahead and move this a little bit here's the front block it had flipped all the way around and so here's the rear block and i flip these every time so that i get good um you know good consistency for each bullet and so there is the bullet right there that's the third shot unfortunately we did not capture the second bullet the second shot it veered out um after about eh, these blocks are 16 inches so after about 17 inches it actually veered out the side and, and went off in the woods somewhere over there so we don't have that i'm going to dig that second one out and it looks like it got about the same penetration as the first shot so here i've got my tape measure set up i put the blocks back and there's the bullet right there right about eh, 20 and an eighth 20 and a quarter inches that's pretty good a little bit more than the first shot and let's go ahead and look at those velocities real quick. So the third shot was right there, 2656. The high was 2688. The low was 2629. And the average was 2657. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these 180 grain Norma Bond Strike bullets fired from the 30-06, and I will flip them over in just a second. But the first thing I wanna point out is the absolutely amazing weight retention. The average weight retention was 173 grains, which is 96%. That is incredible for a non-monolithic bullet. And then we'll hit on expansion. So I got an expanded diameter average of 0.91 inches. That is 3X expansion, three times expansion that is incredible especially considering the weight retention we got the large the larger bullet on the left was 0.95 inches max diameter the one on the right was 0.87 so not much variance between the two absolutely stellar performance in my eyes average velocity was 2657 feet per second build velocity was 2756 feet per second there was a 59 foot per second spread between the lowest velocity and highest velocity which is not bad at all Penetration was 17 and 3 8 inches and 20 and 1 8 inch respectively, averaging 18.75 inches. All right, so closing thoughts on that Norma Bond Strike stuff. I'm extremely impressed by it. I didn't show any sort of accuracy testing because that's too subjective. People's rifles are different. People shoot different. Um, but in the Tika and also Winchester Model 70 that I shot out of, it was extremely accurate, extremely. And I am incredibly impressed with 
the amount of penetration you get and the weight retention that you get for the expansion that you get, especially at 100 yards, like 3x expansion, that's that's pretty much unheard of. And you would think if you get that much, you'd get some some chunks and breakage and stuff like that. Just not the case with Norma Bond Strike. And it really is billed as a longer range ammo, a longer range bullet. So I would think if you were to shoot, you know, game, elk, deer, whatever, out at 200, 300 yards, even further, if, if you're capable, that you wouldn't see quite the explosive expansion. Still, I'm sure pretty substantial, but you would actually get deeper penetration is what I'm thinking you would probably see. So I'm thinking in the future, we're gonna be doing some longer range gel tests with Norma Bond Strike and probably some other stuff, especially the stuff that's billed more as long range ammo. So stay tuned for that. All in all, I'm extremely impressed by it. Um, I'm a big fan. I'm gonna use it. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.